This white fish in the oven, it is so easy. And of course, in Umbria, again, they're landlocked, but you can use this recipe with any fish. A filet of fish will be delicious. Everybody likes the crispy fried. Well, this is crispy, non-fried and flavorful fish. So let's begin with the topping, which is breadcrumbs, seasoned breadcrumbs. Here I have a little bit of oregano. I love buying it this way. You know what you're getting. And this of oregano will go a long way. You just squeeze a little bit each time on a piece of parchment paper or on a plate. And there you go. And we take that, we put it right in the breadcrumbs. These are simple breadcrumbs right here. Okay. Grate some lemon zest and the juice will go in the sauce. Whenever you use orange or lemon zest, stay away from the pith, the white part, because that's the bitter part. So a little peperoncino, of course. These are the peperoncino seeds and they're a little big. So I just chop it up. Parsley, salt, and olive oil. And you put just enough olive oil to moisten the breadcrumbs. You don't want them to become cakey. So you just loosen them up and they're moist. So let me, let me show you, see? Just enough oil. They have absorbed the oil and they'll impart the flavor and the oil to the fish. Here we have the white fish, the whole fillets. And again, you can use any fish you'd like. White fish is what they use in Umbria. Let's make it in portions. And I guess each one half is fine. Like that. Leave the skin on, especially with fine fillets like this. I mean, if you have a piece of halibut uh, steak or if you want to do tuna or something, then of course the skin is inconsequentials. But if you do like this, the fine fish, then you need the skin to hold it together. Let me just salt the fish a little bit. Break up a little bit of those little pockets of juice so that when I squeeze it, they're all ready to come out. Oh, okay. We'll fish them out the pit. Olive oil, some wine, white wine, and not cooking wine, just good wine that you would drink or do you have left over. A little bit of salt, we need to season the sauce as well. We need to flavor it as well, so some garlic. Let me just crush some cloves. You say a lot of garlic, yes, we don't have all that much flavor. The garlic is the flavoring element. And then you can leave it behind, certainly. Let me just give a blend to this sauce and juice. We'll set the fish. Okay, I'm moving the garlic around so it's not on the bottom. And the fish cooks very quickly. So you don't want a lot of, lot of juice. And this is where we put the breadcrumbs, right on top. So the fish is ready to be put in the oven. You preheat the oven at 400 degrees, and this is done within 15, 20 minutes. Forms a nice crust, and the juice will be just at the right consistency, and the fish is done. And of course the fish, as soon as it is ready, you want a nice warm plate. Isn't this plate beautiful? It's a great example of the ceramics that have been made in Umbria for centuries. Let's do a presentation. And the fish, you can see how wonderful it is. The crust is uh, nice and crunchy. The sauce is just right. And we have the beautiful plate, so let's plate it. You could do individual plates or you can do it family style, like I'm doing it right here. Collect all of this sauce and scoop it up. Now, I don't want to 
put it on top of the bread because I lose the crunchiness. So I'm putting it alongside. Just a little bit of creativity. Seeing all that art gets me inspired. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. It matches the artisan tree in the plate. And of course, one needs to taste this because the art is in the taste and in the tasting as well. Let me just catch a little piece right here. Mm -mm -mm. You can smell the garlic, oregano. Mm -mm. Mm. Really delicious. The acidity of the lemon juice of the wine fills in for the mellowness of the fish. Really a delicious dish, a beautiful dish, and a beautiful presentation.